Hello everybody, John Ashworth here, the Fitness Nomad, back again today with a question. I'm going to start the day off, the week off, with a question. Why should I believe you? And what I'm talking about here is if you're, all you're ever showing me is the idea that there is some magic secret to my success, and then of course trying to sell it to me, why should I believe you? Now I realize that this is part of the sales process, but what I get tired of, I don't know about you, but I get I get a little bit tired of the idea that there's some magical secret to my success and if I just buy this product or use this system, that that's going to be it. And while these people, businesses may be offering perfectly legitimate products, services, solutions, in my mind, a lot of it is garbage and here's why. The true secret to your success is you. And that's what I want to talk about briefly today. And it reminds me specifically, you'll see here in the post I have put up today, why should I believe you, that there's this image down here. I'm going to click on this image and we're just going to go through it one at a time briefly. And I'm going to hide the one so that you're not reading ahead now. And so we can go through them one by one. But what this is, I actually found this at a rummage sale at the school a few blocks away. They have a rummage sale every year. And I came across it. It's a simple little poster that is 21 suggestions for success. But you know what's happened over the years? My wife talks about this too because it sits right on the desk where we, where we both spend a good deal of our time. If you just follow these 21 suggestions for success, if that's all you did was take massive amounts of action around these 21 suggestions, you would be successful. So really all you need is a poster at a rummage sale and of course, all you really need now is this podcast, video broadcast to be successful. Now, the difference is usually those who implement, those who take action, and those who don't. And of course, there are all the nuances and the ways in which you can take this kind of action and implement these 21 suggestions for success. So yes, there's a little bit more to it than just having a poster sitting on your desk. However, my point today is this that very often there isn't more to it. It's just the, the difference between successful people and people who don't achieve what they really want, and that's what we're really talking about when we talk about success, right? Is you achieving the life that you wanna live. The difference between the people who have that and the people who don't is action, organization, creation, innovation, all of the things that are talked about in these 21 success principles. Marry the right person. This one decision will determine 90% of your either your happiness or your misery. I can certainly attest to this. My marriage is not perfect. My wife nor I are perfect. But I would say 98% of my happiness and success is directly related to the person I married. Work at something you enjoy and that's worthy of your time and talent. This is one where we all get caught up and stuck. Right? You might, and likely, if you're, if you're watching this right now, you're probably caught up in something or at least some group of things that you don't want to be spending time on. How are you going to work your way out one step at a time? Number three, give people more than they expect and do it cheerfully. Don't complain about it. Don't look for something in return. Just do it. Become the most positive and enthusiastic person you know. And now what I'm not talking about here is the whole idea laid out in the success, the secret book where all you do is think positive thoughts and the world and the universe is going to bring you all kinds of great stuff. You still got to do the hard work down in the trenches day to day. But being positive and enthusiastic as much as possible is going to help you a great deal. Be forgiving of yourself and others. And this is a big one. I have to work on this one a lot. But forgiveness is the true essence of any good friendship and the true essence of anyone who has a big network of people who they can draw from, who they can tap into, who they can get ideas from. And that network grows larger the more you're willing to forgive people for being human. Nobody is perfect. We all know that about ourselves and yet a lot of times we expect a lot from other people. And then when they don't deliver, we don't forgive them, we lose. Everybody loses. Be generous. This is a big one. And now I say this is a big one because you can be too generous. 
Okay, you can give away too much. You have to be smart about how you're being generous. I can't just give away all my personal training services for free. It'd be awesome if I was financially free and I wanted to just continue to see 10, 15, 20 appointments a week because I really enjoy the time spending it with people and I could offer it to them for free. Wow, wouldn't that be awesome? But I can't do that. But there are many other ways that I can be generous and that is just another really important success principle. Having a grateful heart, gratitude, keeping a gratitude journal, spending time each day thinking about what you are grateful for. And if you really do this, you will find that it's easy to actually find things that you are grateful for. That I go through my day every day and look at people doing certain jobs in my community that I think to myself, boy, am I lucky to have what I have and do the things that I do, even though I have frustration just like anybody else with the things that I do. Having a grateful heart, gratitude, being grateful for what you have, persistence, persistence, persistence is number eight. This is huge, gigantic. This is probably the main thing that separates the successful from the non-successful. They never give up. No matter how tough it gets, they never give up. They just keep going. And you still though, and this is again another one of the nuances and another reason why it's important to have a coach. So you might think, you know, by by posting this on my blog today, you think, well, isn't John in the business of selling us, you know, these products and services that are going to help us in our fitness business and help us do better? Yes, absolutely I am. What I'm taking issue with is the idea that it's some magical secret. It's not. It's all the same principles that everybody talks about. But the difference is in your ability to implement them and implement them in an individual way that works for you. Persistence, persistence, persistence. And why, how I got off on that little tangent in relation to persistence is this. You also have to know when to quit, when to stop something that's not working and move on to the next, to the next thing. You might think that's a contradiction, but it's not because what we're talking about is persistence, persistence, persistence to achieve that success, to achieve that life that you're after. That might mean letting go of everything or most of everything you're doing now and looking for some new stuff to pursue, but not giving up on that dream as a whole. Discipline yourself to save money on even the most modest salary. It's a really good book. I highly recommend you read it. It's titled The Richest Man in Babylon. It's a really, really good book. Another audio book I've listened to. Concept in that book, concept I'm sure you've heard elsewhere, Pay Yourself First. 10% of all you earn is yours to keep. Remember that phrase. 10% of all you earn is yours to keep. Read that book. Number 10, treat everyone you meet like you want to be treated. That's pretty straightforward. Commit yourself to constant improvement. I am big on this one, okay? Constantly looking for ways that I can chip away at something. I just read something yesterday that said if you spend an hour a day for five years, You can turn yourself into a nationally recognized expert in that thing, whatever it is. One hour a day, every day, not including vacations, although I would include that too, an hour a day. Come on, if you're passionate about it and if you're interested in it, an hour a day, five years. That's again, though, coming back up to persistence, persistence, persistence. You might get excited about that for a week, two months, maybe even a year, but to keep that one thing going for five years. For example, I'm really looking forward to seeing what happens with my classical guitar playing now that I'm back into it and committed to this in five years. And there are many other things I've been spending time on for or five years that I am now an expert. It does work. You've got to stick with it. All right, now I got to find myself, my place. And I think I hear people coming home upstairs. I'm working in my home office again, so I'm going to speed through the rest. Commit yourself to quality. Obviously, that's important. Understand that happiness is not based on possessions, power, or prestige, but on relationships with people you love and respect. Okay? You still need money. You still need to make money. Money is make what makes the world go around. But again, coming back to this, I'm going to sell you the secret to make you rich. I think in a lot of ways we get caught up in the idea of accumulating a bunch of money and we forget what's really important. Both things are important. You have to change your attitude around money and you have to get comfortable with the fact that money is important and that you do need it to live the kind of life you want to live, but that getting caught up in it in a negative way is not a good thing. Be loyal. Be honest. 
be a self-starter and that's a big one be decisive even if it means you'll sometimes be wrong that's another big one take action fail fast and change it fast but take action be willing to take action and make mistakes that's where you where you really learn the most stop blaming others and take responsibility for every area of your life in 20 plus years of working as a fitness coach this is the big reason people fail to get the results they achieve looking for excuses and acting like victims not going to get you anywhere be be bold and courageous when you look back over your life you'll regret the things you didn't do more than the ones you did again take action 20 take good care of those you love and number 21 don't do anything that wouldn't make your mom proud now i realize my screen was not showing you those last ones so i apologize stop blaming others be bold and courageous take good care of those you love Don't do anything that wouldn't make your mother proud. Assuming your mother is someone that you should model your behavior after, okay? Be smart about these. John Ashworth, Fitness Nomad. Thanks for tuning in. More coming this week. Stay tuned.